So we noticed earlier on that Tremor's sequencer has these weird little triangles to the right-hand side, and they are polyrhythmic pattern markers, which can be dragged up and down each of the channels in the sequencer. And what they are for is creating mini loops within the sequencer. So for example, rather than, let's say, okay, we've got our symbol here, okay? Let's say, rather than having this play for the whole duration of the pattern, we could have it loop at this point, whereas the rest of the channels will go on and play for the rest of the pattern. So let's see how that sounds. So you can see that changes the sound of the loop because this symbol channel is not playing on the same time base as the others. I could uh, move it a bit further up, see how that sounded. And because this channel isn't playing at a regular interval of the main channel, it's playing at a slightly irregular one, the timing of the cymbal part in relation to the rest of the beats is going to be different. So it's a, an interesting way of setting up different loops within a beat. You could do it for every channel if you wanted. You could have every single channel playing at different interval. And it's a good way to get really creative with your beats. So let's try that. This might sound crazy. I don't know. Let's find out. Of course, the trick is to not maybe mess with the kick drum, to keep the kick drum regular. So if I put the kick drum back where it was, everything else can kind of fight it out over the top. Let's try a bit of randomization. So that's possibly a slightly over the top example, but you get the idea. And basically it just makes it very easy to dial in randomization, new ideas very quickly without having to actually copy and paste patterns around. What you tend to find is you often get happy accidents, which is when you try something and it actually sounds great. And it's the kind of thing you might not have tried or you might have had to spend ages trying to program. So that's a pretty cool way of working with patterns. So next up, let's have a look at using some of the drag edits tools to make this beat a bit more interesting. <laughs> 